Coming up next week in Brussels, a Luxembourg presidency, PNR, migration, and historical artifacts. Welcome to the agenda. Passenger name record that was lambasted proposal which would allow for the collection of travel information will be the big vote of the week at the Parliament. PNR was put on the back burner as MEPs push to get data protection reform in place. The worry has always been the watering down of fundamental rights if PNR was allowed to pass. At the committee meeting, MEPs could be in for a long haul as they need to decide what kinds of travel PNR should be applied to and how long information can be stored. It was an EU Council presidency that started on the 3rd of July. And how do they celebrate? With a picnic. Hopefully they got a few sandwiches in because the next six months are going to be anything but a picnic for Luxembourg. The Grand Duchy takes on their 12th presidency at a time of turmoil for Europe. The Greece crisis still casts a dark shadow, along with migration and security. Ministers of Luxembourg will descend on the parliament to present their priorities, making the rounds of committees all week. Their priorities include jobs and growth, competition, the single market and social issues. And sticking with Luxembourg, MEPs will get the chance to grill the former Prime Minister of Luxembourg on the LuxLeaks revelations, as Parliament's Special Tax Committee gears up to present its findings after summer. It hasn't been the easiest ride for the MEPs leading the push on getting to the bottom of member state tax practices, and especially preferential tax breaks to multinationals. Access to information and requests for meetings with industry bigwigs haven't found the right response. Mr Juncker will be joined at a joint sitting of the Special Tax and Economic and Monetary Affairs Committees by one of his right-hand men, Pierre Moscovici, Commissioner for Economic and Financial Affairs. And don't forget that five national finance ministers will also present themselves before the Special Tax Committee on the same day. EU leaders have finally greenlighted emergency plans to relocate thousands of refugees. Now it's the turn of the Parliament to vote and discuss those plans. 40,000 migrants already in Italy and Greece will be voluntarily taken in by other member states over two years to try to share the burden. Parliament had pushed for 50,000, but it's a situation in member states' hands. EU leaders have also approved 20,000 migrants waiting in third countries to be provided with sanctuary in Europe. The Civil Liberties Committee will vote on Thursday. The recent pictures of ISIS militants destroying historical artifacts in the ancient city of Palmyra have angered many. But what can be done not only in Iraq but all over the world to ensure that historical artifacts are better protected? The Culture Committee will hold a public hearing with experts from the International Criminal Court, UNESCO and Interpol to discuss not only what they can do but how to share responsibility and go after the criminals. Find out more on Monday. And of course, don't forget the Greece will continue to dominate the headlines next week. And that's all we have for this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week.